Okay, so let's talk about this uh, fast, stormy, virtuosic section, a fun one in this Rachmaninoff's etude. Um, this section starts without a warning and without us expecting it to start. Because when we listen to the opening of the piece, so melancholic and we feel that it's just going to stay this way it's a lyrical piece but all of a sudden we have this big crescendo right um that rock money has... right. and then here we are and so far so it's it's about a page long um it's pretty challenging technically challenging so we, i'm going to tell you uh just a couple of tips of how to approach it so first of all of course we have to play a lot in slow slow speed and i highly suggest and highly demand that um, you will practice a lot without pedal so you can actually hear every single note and then when you right, go through the notes you know learn the notes uh, try to be very particular about fingering. All the fingering is written for you, so every single finger, please follow it. Um, when you look uh, closely and n n even without playing, you will notice that the bottom voice in left hand to is marked with the accent. So when you, of course, you have to just play it and see what's going on there. And then. It's just a step motion, a stepwise motion, right from the F sharp up to uh, this uh, C sharp. When we get in this uh, dramatic C sharp minor harmony, so it's just one phrase. So we will be talking about um, how to build it so it actually sounds like one line. Um, so of course, dynamic will play a big role, and obviously your own um, desire to build the phrase. Um, now, to how to work on this piece, uh, on, I'm sorry, on this section. So, of course, after you play this number of times, hands separate, I'm um, sorry, hands together without pedal in slow tempo, then please um, realize have a partnership here right so right hand starts left hand answers and actually it kept this way um, throughout the whole section so there is certain uh, correspondence between them a dialogue right so it's very important that each person, each hand, right, speaks very clearly. I want to go ahead and imagine certain words, um, or even just the idea of the conversation. I think that would be very helpful. It will kind of force you to play with more clarity, I think, and I hope. Um, so, uh, of course, you should play this hand separate as well. So you can hear every single intonation, every single phrase. And when you do it, uh, I think I will ask you to focus not only on, of, of course, clarity, articulation, uh, pronunciation of every note, but also on the intervals, right, that, that create those intonations. So always try to analyze what, what do I play in? Is it half step, whole step? right stepwise motion or maybe it's a skip maybe it's a bigger interval they change every single time now you have two skips now you have some bigger intervals so the harmony gets um, more and more uh, dramatic um, and so with your ear try to really grab um, uh, grab those um, differences right the difference between whole step, half step, uh, skip, or bigger interval, and so forth. So a lot of that, as of 
of course, left hand will do the same thing. Um, so sing through each hand, please. Um, another aspect that uh, we should discuss briefly, um, this section is not very comfortably written. So it's, uh, of course, it's challenging to play. So despite of that, though, I will ask you to try to seek physical comfort as you play it. So that means, of course, the wrist should help. And most importantly, is that, you know, you just play certain things multiple times. So you can, um, it like you, it's the feeling like you almost have to embrace, embrace each intonation, right? So it needs to just fit you so well, like a glove. Um, so the hand kind of hugs every every four notes, especially here when it gets more and more challenging, right? And it's hard to play. Yeah. Some, some places are really uncomfortable for the hand. So we actually need to overcome that again through playing a lot in slow tempo and trying to trying to. Uh, create a singing um, singing kind of song because the fastest way to get from note to note is legato right it's it's the fastest so I try to put it really connect and really seek comfort and really let my hand to find um, uh, just to find this right motion right and the melody will di dictate that motion so it's very very natural um, so I think that would be a good start. And of course, practicing this from a different spots, how you build a phrase, um, you can start from, from the uh, lower section. And add the section around on top of it, so you kind of go backwards. And then section right on top, so you go, you work in this uh, by phrases, and I guess it's every line is a measure, so you just start backwards, start from measure 30, and then 29, 30, and then 28, 29, 30, 27, 28, 30, and finally 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. As crazy as it sounds, but this whole page, it's just five measures. It's, um, it's quite incredible. Okay. <clears throat> 